Mr. Dill was like, what was he saying? I was like, man, everything's going by so fast. He's like, yeah, it's almost like y'all just got engaged like three weeks ago. Just like. <laughs> Um, my name is Dylan, I'm his other best man. Uh, when he asked me to write a speech, I really want to make a speech about him and Jasmine, but then I realized that I really haven't known Jasmine for very long. But neither, then again, neither has Chris, so. <laughs> This is more about Jazzy. I'll take it. I am just so proud of you. From the moment we met, what, three and a half years ago, like, I needed you so badly. And that's time of my life. And you've just been a rock as a best friend for me. And I've seen you grow in your purpose. I've seen your heart to grow when I didn't even think it could grow anymore. I've seen you become an even better mom than you already were, and I've seen you love my kids like they were your own. We brought you together for a very special and intentional purpose at this moment in your life. My prayer for, the, for your marriage is that you both keep shaping hard after God and allow Him to be first place in every area of your journey together. Chris and I really hit it off. Um, just right from the beginning and I think uh, we really became close friends because of all the similarities that that him and I shared. Well, we were both young guys looking to serve God and, and, and live a sober life. Uh, we met in sobriety and we're both sober today. Um, we really became closer friends because we were able to encourage each other through those situations and that helped our friendship and our, our bond grow over time. And um, Chris, I look up to you because you are an amazing guy. You genu genuinely care about everybody around you in your life. You are the most incredible father I've seen in that boy. And I'm proud to say that that's my God's son. And today, you become a husband to your beautiful wife, and I'm so happy for you both. Congratulations, sincerely. So when I already knew that I wanted to marry him, I just decided to start writing letters to him, and I just grabbed this journal, and I just started writing to him, and then I knew that I wanted to give it to him on our wedding night. I didn't know when that would be, but here it is, and now I get to give it to him. So I'll read uh, one of the first ones um, on Saturday, June 22nd of 2019. This wasn't, this was actually on June 22nd. It's only been 30 days of dating and not even two months of knowing each other. And I already know I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I feel, I feel so, so crazy, crazy. But, but it's, it's much more than just infatuation. Much. I love you because you see past the outer me. You see into my heart and the dark, broken places, and you still love me. I've never been loved by a human being like you love me. You've taught me to love again. You've taught me what it means to love a broken person unconditionally and to fight for a relationship when at times I got scared and I wanted to run. But I don't want to run anymore. I want you. I just want you. Her heart amazes me. Check yes or no. <laughs> I check yes. Jasmine, I can't believe this day has finally come. I've literally, <laughs> we have a joke about the literally thing, been waiting for this day my entire life. 
all of my and Jack's prayers for a mommy to mommy have led you and I together, and I am so grateful for God's goodness and faithfulness. I love you so much, your husband. Babe, I love you so much too. Are you gonna see this? <laughs> He's gonna see it. <laughs>